everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from the Challenge Championship, brought to you by Master Spas, Hyper Ice, Form Smart Swim Goggles, You Can Hoka One One Class USA, and of course our Challenge Athletes Foundation. Our next guest, Colin Chartier, who is racing, and you came as an alternate, thinking you might be doing Challenge Championship on Sunday, but now you're racing Collins Cup because Rudy Von Berg can't make the start. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for having me. A, um, a pleasure. And, yeah. and you know, so you you come here playing a race Sunday, but knowing there's a possibility you could race Saturday as the alternate, when did you find out that you were going into uh, going into Saturday race? Yeah, it's uh, everything's been last minute. Even coming to this race. Yeah. It was a week before I was supposed to fly. Mm -hmm. I got an email late at night saying, hey, we'd like you to be an alternate. And I was like, initially, no, I'm not going to fly, half fly to Europe. World. And uh, I'm getting ready for St. George, right. 70.3 Worlds. And then I you know, sat on it for a night and woke up the next morning. I was like, okay, I, this is a good opportunity. Sure. You'd be with the best people yeah. in the world. So I booked a trip and flew out here this Monday. And just uh, the catch was I could also race the Challenge Championship. See, that way you Sunday. knew you'd come here with all your stuff. Yeah. And, you know, you're, the worst that happens, you race one of the most important races in the world. Exactly. I get an opportunity to race regardless. And yes. I was ready to come and, you know, do my best. And it's not a bad build up into St. George. A couple yeah. weeks out. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. So Rudy told you a couple days ago that he wasn't feeling well. Uh, yeah, on Wednesday night um, after they announced the right. matchups, I know fly. that we got a after we yeah. Issue, yeah. <laughs> um, I think he yeah he just had to make the call right. and uh, he he let me know on Wednesday night. But th you know what? That's good because he certainly could have waited till Friday and go. Well, maybe I'll get better, but because it's such an important race. But I think the having re respect enough for his the replacement to, to let you prep. Yeah, yeah, I'm appreciated of, of that. So yeah, Very cool. So give me your background. You grew up in Virginia? Uh, I spent, yeah, about 12 years in Virginia okay. from the age of 10 to 22. Okay. And right after I had graduated college at Marymount University, where oh, yeah. I was there for the first varsity triathlon team in the U.S. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so then I went right out to Colorado. Uh, I've got some family there. Okay. And just started training. I've been there since 2017. Okay. Not as part of the Olympic Training Center? No, I've, I've been there for a U23 camp. Okay. In prep for the FISU University Games okay. 2016. And so that was a neat experience to live in the Olympic Training Center. Right. And, yeah, experience that. When did you realize that, you know what, I think the longer distance is better suited for me? I don't know if I've realized that yet. So you're still doing both? Yeah, yeah, I still want to do ITU. I've, I've not lost that drive. Very cool. Now, did you race ITU this year? I've done, so this year I have not done ITU I mean, yeah, just because it's an Olympic qualifying year. Right. And I was you know, seventh in the U.S., so I was a, a lacking a few points to even right. be in that consider, you know, consideration. Right. Um, but, you know, 2020 I did four, three or four ITU events. In mm -hmm. 2019 I did uh, 12 or 13 events. Oh, wow. And best race? Best race uh, of my life so far has been the uh, Miyazaki 2019. Yes. Uh, I was um, 12th or 13th in the World Cup, but I had uh, one of my best run splits, 31-30. Wow. Well, so, okay, so 31-30 run split, when you move into this longer distance, you, all of a sudden you're a player. Uh, I hope I'm a player, but I'm going against uh, Gustav Eden, so he's a... <laughs> You're going against Gustav Eden and Kyle Smith, who's been on a roll. So, yeah, you've got... You, you, but when you... Uh, if you're going to race, why not go big? Yeah, I'm going big. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cool. And it, so the goal was a goal for most of the season, 70.3 Worlds. Uh, this season, uh, my goals have changed quite a bit. Yes. Uh, I started off this year uh, racing Ski Mountaineering. Ski mountaineering. Yeah, yeah, I did uh, eight ski mountaineering races. And what the, the hell is ski mountaineering? Yeah, you know, it's an up and coming sport. It's going to be in the 2026 Olympics. Is it really? Yeah, they just announced that. And, and what do you do? So you're on skis and you put this skin on it. Like on the skin, skin, on the ski. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, can, you actually climb up the mountain. Right. And there's technical you know, aspects of climbing it. Sure. And you rip the skins off, and now you're skiing down also some technical lines. And you do that multiple times. And they have all different events. They have a sprint. They have a longer day. And they 
have a, a vertical race where it's just time trial to the top. So you're still doing that? Well, I, I did During it the winter, this obviously. winter. I don't know if I'm going to do it this winter. Okay. Because uh, I found out it's not you know, appropriate training for triathlon. Really? Yeah. You think that, you, well, probably the downhill is scary, but it seems yeah, like the yeah. uphill would be good stuff. Well, I, I came in, um, so I, I did this January through March. I yeah. finished at the World Cup finals in yeah. Italy Yeah. at the end of March. Okay. Um, and then three weeks later, I was at Challenge Grand Canaries, where Jan Ferdino, yes. uh, Patrick Lang, they all, they all everyone train out there. was there. Yeah. So I'm showing up with three weeks of triathlon fitness. Like I hadn't been swimming, biking, and running. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I got, I got my butt handed to me. <laughs> you know, I got 16th, but I... But you probably felt going in, look at all this. I've been up at altitude, I'm guessing, right? And I don't know. I was, I was guess, you know, second guessing my, my preparation. Right. That's interesting. Because uh, being that two-sport guy is a pretty cool thing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so you, you don't think you'll do both moving forward? Uh, not sure yet. As far as 2022, I'm not sure yet. I would love to be able to do both. And we're looking at a lot of athletes starting to, to be excel at both middle distance and ITU. Yes, yes. And I think we're in a new generation of triathlon where that is possible. I think the deal is, I don't think you can do all three. I don't think you can do full. No, uh, half, you and, can't do and, all four. And, but I think, I mean, look at Taylor Nib jumped right in. and Gustav Eden. Yep, yep. I, I just think because you're doing the training anyways. Yeah. Right? The training isn't that, I don't think There's that's still, significantly different. you know, high 20 and 30 hour weeks. Like that's what you need. And the, 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 the speed that you see at 70.3 now, yeah. that comes from being an ITU athlete. Exactly. I love that. That's very cool. Um, and so the, after St. George, what'd you say? You're, did you say what you're going to do after St. George um, or just, yeah, I haven't said yet, but, uh, after St. George, I'm planning to do two races in Spain, challenge oh, Salu, nice. challenge Mallorca okay. in October. Um, and then challenge Daytona or clash Daytona. Yes. December 4th. Very fun. Well, that, now were you at the clash races or challenge races last year in, uh, I was no, oh, I haven't done any. You I, I asked and, uh, I didn't get the, you invite. didn't get in, but you're going this time. I you don't know. They haven't, uh, oh, they haven't announced the list yet, yet, but yeah. I, I think I'd be able to get a spot. I love it. Such a pleasure to meet you, Colin. Yeah, likewise. Pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for taking time, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I love it. Uh, Colin Chartier has been our guest, everybody. Be watching for this young man. Obviously, uh, great background. My name is Bob Babbitt. Hold on, everybody. We'll be right back.